Hey y'all, welcome back to Rooster's Barbecue. Today I'm doing a pretty cool dinner. I'm making stuffed pork tenderloins. Uh, one I'm gonna stuff with jalapenos and a cream cheese cheddar mix. And the other one I'm gonna stuff with provolone and spinach. So these are gonna be pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna do most of the work behind the scenes, but I wanted y'all to see me and how I fillet these open um, to stuff them. And I'm just gonna start by making uh, an incision right down the middle that I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch on the bottom. You wanna try not to cut through, but if you do, that's okay. I'm just gonna open it up and I'm gonna work from the side just like that. See how it's kind of laying open for us now? Yeah, look how pretty that was. That's that's worked out real well. So that's half of our tenderloin right there. That's pretty good. I'm just making a incision about an inch in and then kind of working it up. Yeah, this is working great. And then we'll lay that open. And get a little bit more. Alright, and there's our tenderloin. Uh, it's not quite ready to be stuffed. I'm going to lay plastic wrap on it. And then pound it out. So it makes it as flat as I can get it. Before I stuff it and roll it up real tight. Um, we're going to wrap them with bacon too. I'm going to do a bit of prep work and we'll see you in just a couple minutes. Alright, we got our tenderloins flattened out. I use my meat mallet. Um, we got it spread out pretty good. Now I'm going to stuff them. Like I said, my favorite is stuffed jalapenos and this stuffing is just cream cheese cheddar with a little bit of uh, savannah river rub mixed in so this makes a really good jalapeno for stuffing and you will just reassemble them and then have them on the inside like that. I might have the end facing out like that. And this is so good when it's come when it comes together. I'm making this for a uh, family dinner tonight we're having. And of course tomorrow I'm making a big old prime rib. Pretty exciting weekend of cooking for the holidays. Hope you guys are doing the same. And if you're not, watch a couple of my videos and <laughs> give something new a try. I know a couple of people have already tried my meatloaf recipe and love how it came out. So thank y'all for your support. Okay, this will be our last one. We got three whole jalapenos on the inside of our pork tenderloin here. And then we're just going to roll it up. We got it over like that. Let's see if we can get her to roll right for us. And she is good, 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 good. All right, we got one done. Uh, I'm gonna get that one wrapped with bacon and then we'll see you in a minute for the other pork tenderloin. All right, we got our first tenderloin here, jalapeno cream cheese cheddar stuffed. Got it wrapped with bacon. We're gonna work with our other pork tenderloin now, which is gonna be provolone and frozen spinach stuffed. So this is going to be real good. 
Um, I've tried it with fresh spinach before and it didn't have that real good spinach flavor like I like. Um, the frozen spinach came out better. So yeah, just layer it in there. About like so. And then we'll make a little row of our spinach here. Oh, this is going to be good. And it looks so pretty in the end when you slice it and it's got that green and the cheese right there in the middle. Yep, that looks great. All right, now we're gonna get this one rolled up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Looks great. Yep. There's our second one. All right, I'm gonna get this one wrapped with bacon and we'll see you in just a couple minutes. All right, we got our second tenderloin stuffed and wrapped with bacon. Now we're gonna put a little rub on it. Today I'm using Georgia Clay Rub from the Rack Tech Academy. And we're gonna put that on pretty liberally. I'll make those outside bites. Oh, those edge bites. So flavorful. This one with cheese in it, I kind of closed up the ends as best I could so cheese doesn't leak out of our tenderloin. Alright. That seems pretty good. Um... What do you say we get these out there and get them on the rec tech? See you in just a minute. All right, we're back outside with our two beautiful bacon wrapped stuffed tenderloins. Our grill set to 235 and we're just gonna throw these in there. I'm gonna give them about an hour and get a meat probe put in them. And I'm going to pull them off right around 150 to 155 degrees. Um, beautiful day here in Augusta, Georgia. It's about 72 degrees on December 23rd. You can't ask for better grilling weather. Uh, but uh, we'll see when we're pulling this off the grill at 152 to 155 degrees. All right, we're back off the grill. We got our two pork tenderloins. This one's stuffed with provolone and spinach. Oh, look how pretty that is. Smoke ring on the inside. I'm gonna taste this one. I got a fellow barbecue connoisseur to taste my other one. Oh my gosh, heaven. All right, Archie, come on in. Bacon. Lots of bacon. Give it a try. Don't be shy. It's only so many people watching. Nice color. Very nice smoke ring. <laughs> Lay will eat that. That's good, man. Good? Yeah. Well, you heard it here. Someone else thinks Rooster's Barbecue is all right. Thank you all for checking out my channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Check out our Facebook, Roosters Barbecue. We'll see you next time.